All right, guys, we're back now. It's our second one of our mobilization circuits here. You know the drill by now. You should know what alarm level you're at. If you did well the last time and you want to uh, raise the alarm, then feel free to do that. I'm going to go through the advanced version here, and I'm going to go through the step downs as well, okay? The first time, our conditioning for 60 seconds this time, it couldn't get any easier. But it's deceptively easy because this high knee right here is going to wear you out by the time you're around two and three and four and so on. All you got to do is just make sure that your knees are at least crossing the level of your hips and just run. That's it. Again, nice pace here. Don't try to do that because you will absolutely never make it. But also, I don't want to see you doing this either because that's lazy and it's not going to work. High knees for 60 seconds for our push. We have a power push away here. So for that, we're going to get down on the ground here and we work our shoulders. So all you have to do is get up with your arms out in front of you this way here. Okay, you're going to slide yourself in and then push back and away up on my toes. Slide myself in. It almost looks like the bottom of a push up here. Okay, but I'm off of my knees and I push away and let my butt go up in the air. Here, push away. A way to imagine this is to think that there's a fence right here that I got to sneak under and then push myself back away out without hitting my head on the fence. Like that. Remember, your rep goal, complete that within 60 seconds and you're working your way down again. We're still in the descending fashion. We have our Hindu squat throughs now for our legs. So, we want to get our whole leg working here from our calves to our hamstrings and our quads. What we're going to do is we're going to come down, we're going to scrape the ground, come up, come up onto our toes, wrap our arms around, some mobility in our shoulders, come back down again, take the back side of our hands, touch it on the ground, up onto our toes, and down. Just like that, up all the way. Okay? All the way through, hit your uh, rep goal through 60 seconds. Then we have our inverted chin up. Okay, come over here. Inverted chin, get underneath your uh, inverted row setup like this. You don't have to have a squat rack and a bar. You can put a sturdy uh, broom across two chairs and you're just as good. So from here, okay, we're going to put our feet flat here for the inverted chin curl. What we're going to do is you're going to lift up, and now from here, you're basically trying to curl yourself up to the bar. Just like a bicep curl, except I'm laying on my back. Just like that. Maintain that 90 degree bend in your elbows at the top. And come all the way up. Okay? Now, I go back, I take the rest if I have a rest allowed to me, based on my alarm, and I repeat for his number, uh, the number of circuits that are prescribed again based on my alarm. If I'm starting out, I'm going to still, again, hit the same muscles. I'm going to do it a little bit easier. So instead of having to do a high knee, I can just do a jog in place, just like this. What's the main difference here? The height of the knees as far as the relation to the hip. Here, they're nice and low. High knees, they're up here, crossing my hip. So I'm just running in place, nice and easy. Again, I don't want to see this, though, unless you're really tired and you need to do that. Challenge yourself, uh, depending upon the level of conditioning that you're feeling at that moment. We come down to the ground. We have our knee pushaways. So now we're going to do the same exercise here. Remember, we're going to let ourselves come out. And then as I push away, I do that. Okay, butt still in the air. I come out. I look like I'm in the down position of a knee push up, but instead of pushing straight up that way, I push into the heels of my hands and I push away. Like that. Just like that. Okay, next we have our quarter squat through. So instead of having to go all the way down to the ground in the Hindu style, where I actually drag my fingers on the floor, maybe you don't have the mobility to get down there, maybe you don't have the strength at this point, that's fine. We're gonna go down to a quarter squat through. So we still want you to get all the way up, you're just gonna come down here and then come up on your toes. Down, quarter squat, come up on your toes. So it's explosive, but it's not as low. Okay, don't leave the ground. You're not going to come all the way up. That's a rocket jump. 
That's something we're going to do later. But for now, just up here on your toes. And then finally, we have an inverted chin row over here. So you don't have to necessarily do all the pulling from your biceps. You actually turn it more into a row. So you're going to get under the bar, feet are flat again. And as I come here, I'm going to back off just a little bit more. So before the inverted chin, I was basically staring up at the bar here, eye level. I can back myself away from the bar. And then what I'm going to do is pull up and then row, pull up and then row. I'm basically trying to pull my chest up to the bar this way. It's still a curl, still working our arms and our pulling muscles, but I'm able to come like that. I'm moving more at a 45 degree angle that way from here to here. Okay. Then I am directly under the bar trying to do all uh, bicep. It's going to be easier for you. Now remember, maybe you're at one alarm and you ace it. No problem. You started there because you thought you were one alarm. You thought you weren't as strong as maybe you are. Fine. Make the adjustment and do it next week um, at the higher level. Okay. So there you go. Two in the books. You got one more that we got to cover all the exercises and go through. And then all I'm going to do from there is manipulate the way you go through those workouts to kind of extrapolate out of you a whole new conditioning effect, even using the same exercises. We'll save that for later. For now, good job, rest up. I'll see you back here for your next workout.